it's really cool that you're stealing from Egypt and we are pleased to share, our, to share with you our journey in the Cool Space Rescue Under 12 competition as a part of the iCool Challenge 2025. And in this presentation, we will, we will talk about each member role and the challenge we faced and how we managed it and how we contributed to, uh, to our success. But before everything, let's introduce ourselves. Our team is made up of two members. Hussein Mortez, our structure plan, design and coordinate and coordinate the algorithms that help us execute our plan accordingly. Aziz Mohammed, our program is responsible for writing the codes for uh, object detection, uh, obstacle and the trap voice, as well as ensuring precious positioning in the deposit area. Our goal is collect objects that give the highest score. Noting that each object color has a different point volume. Our mission is collect the points available uh, on the map. Deposit them in specific areas. Avoid obstacles. Navigate efficiently. Create a strategy to get the maximum number of points. Avoid traps so we don't lose any points. The methods, the components used by the robot, such as we use the artificial sensor to avoid obstacles and maintain the robot performance, and to save time so we could collect more points. The color sensor was used to avoid traps, preventing us from losing points if the robot entered those areas, and to help us collect points. It also guided the robot to reach the deposit area as quickly as possible. We also used the compass sensor to simplify the deposit process and crucially to determine the robot position. Our strategy is to use the RGB sensor to collect higher value points in less time. We also use the color sensor and the compass sensor to determine the robot X and Y coordinates. And the result was the robot was collecting between 1000 and 1020 points. Our conclusion is we learned a lot, of, a lot about programming and problem solving and we also develop uh, time uh, management skills which were uh, crucial uh, for the mission to collect the maximum uh, number of points in the short time possible. The robot was able to navigate the map effectively, uh, collect the objects and deposit them as shown on the screen by the end of the mission we achieved a total score of 1100 points. During our journey in good space we succeed in two strategies. Strategy 1 when the robot is full loaded, then it goes to the X1 and Y1, and the compass is from 0 to 5, it turns 90 degrees to go to the bottom. And if, uh, and if the robot is full loaded and goes to the X1 and Y1, and the compass is from 30 to, uh, is from 300 to 360, it turns 180 degrees to go to the bottom. And in, last, uh, the, in, in, in the last 20 seconds, the uh, robot deposit if he had from 2 to 6 objects. And also, the robot avoid the bus area if he had from one to five options. Strategy two is to reach the nearest deposit after collecting six points. We would take the direction of the bus area, and when the robot reaches that area, it would move uh, at a specific angle. Aziz, I am going to show you how the robot uses an ultrasonic sensor to avoid obstacles in the cause based simulator. This is small part here, the ultrasonic sensor helps the robot see the world using sound waves. It sends out sound and when the sound hits an obstacle, it bounces back the robot then measures the distance and knows when something is close. Now, 
Let's watch what happens when the robot moves forward. You see, when the robot gets too close to the well, the sensor detects it. The robot stops just in time and then turns to a safe direction. It can even move around the obstacle and keep going. That's how it avoids crashing and stays inside safe area. The ultrasonic sensor applies the robot's ears. It helps it hear the world and make smart choice. So now you know how robots can detect obstacles using sound waves in Cosby's simulator. Try it yourself. It's fun to make your robot sink and move safely. In Cosby's rescue game, I learned how the robot can find and collect objects safely. But did you know? There are real robots in the world that do the same thing to save people's lives. They are, they, these are called search and rescue robots. They help firefighters rescues look for people after earthquakes or big accidents. They can go into places that are too small for, or too dangerous for humans. The, ro the robot uses ultrasonic sensors, cameras, and heat detectors to see in the dark and find people. It sends information back to the rescue team so they can help faster. In Cruise Base, I learned how to use ultrasonic sensor to avoid obstacles and use objects safely. That's exactly what real rescue robots do. They move carefully, avoid walls, and find targets quickly. By practicing in Cruise Base, I learned how to pro how programming and sensor help robots make smart de decisions. So one day I can help design better robots to save even more lives. Sometimes ChatGPT gave us answers that were a little too a little too difficult or too many ideas at once. We learned how to ask better questions and choose what really worked for our project. That made us better at problem solving and teamwork. AI is it's not just a tool. It's a way to learn, grow, and imagine new possibilities. And we are so proud that our project was built with both humans' creative creativity and AI support. First, we'll be effort to experiment, uh, try new ideas, and uh, and test different strategies and see what works. Every mistake uh, is a chance and, uh, to learn something new. Second, teamwork is the key. Uh, share your ideas and listen to others. Combine your strengths. Uh, the great robot isn't built alone, it's built by a creative team. Third, keep learning and asking questions. Use tools like AI helpers to explore the solutions and think critically. Uh, the more curious you are, the more problems you can solve. Finally, remember this. Learning robotics is not just about building robots. It's about building yourself. Keep patient. Be creative and enjoy your, your process. So keep experimenting, keep sharing, and keep imagining. Your ideas can, can inspire others, maybe even change the world. And, and thanks, thanks for watching! watching.